I can't do this. So okay. Austin needs to go first. <laughs> Can you get the question again? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I would say that any student in science should probably try to get into any sort of research project, especially like the RU that I got to participate in. It really teaches you the different dynamics that come into doing research, field work, data analysis, writing papers. Uh, many of our LTR sites have site RU programs. I'm a huge proponent of the RU program. I, I, at the Cary Institute, we've had one for 25 years. and. Oh, I think it's a great experience because you, you have a group of people to work with, you get some training and research, you, you do a little independent research project. I try to accept that no job is too small or menial because it's, it's all about getting your experience, meeting people, getting your foot in the door. And as ecologists, we get to go to incredible places and see things that other people couldn't even imagine. One of the biggest most important things I learned as an undergrad in order to get involved with research was to talk to people. Even if you're nervous and you're not comfortable talking to these authority figures, they are there to help you. Uh, how I actually even got into this lab, I was talking to one of my, one of my professors um, whose class really enjoyed and he encouraged me to apply for a position working with LTR sites. So if it wasn't for that, I would, wouldn't be anywhere here. I have no idea what I do. <laughs> the advice I'd give to an undergraduate who wants to do an RU is to don't give up, apply to a lot of sites, and to make sure that you get involved with local science associations. Coming familiar with uh, what you want and where you would like to go, and uh, making a list and the steps to get there, I think is important. My advice to uh, future REU students is to volunteer some time, even if it's just a few hours a week, to see whether or not this is something that you're interested in. And if this particular lab is not one that, you know, likes your passion, don't give up on science, don't give up on research, go to another lab and see what ignites your passion. There's a lot of rich natural history that we know about these systems, and there's no expectation for new people coming in to, to have that. And the more questions you ask and the more open you are and the less worried you are about whether or not you know something, the more you're going to get out of those initial experiences and interactions. Sort out a few of those folks who are doing um, the kinds of research that you're most interested in and get in touch with them. Faculty are not scary, even though we look scary. <laughs> That's definitely going. <laughs> you definitely try to get, get your, uh, your feet wet, so to speak, and, and kind of get into some labs and if you are really interested in LTR, uh, definitely go visit the website because there are a lot of sites and there's probably one right next to you and you don't even realize it. Do it. Get involved. Go knock on people's doors. Volunteer to be in someone's lab. Show up at an all-scientist meeting. Students are part of why we do this, right? We need to train the next generation of ecologists. Get involved with field work. And it's a great place too, any LTR site is, because you're working with all these people around you that know so much about all aspects of the system. So you can really use that as a platform to build your own unique research question. You don't need to find the perfect lab or the perfect project. Find people who you get along with and who are passionate about what they do. What you really just need is you need a commitment to trying to understand the way the planet works, uh, the way ecosystems work, and how they might be changing over time. You would just go up to one of the uh, principal investigators or one of the students or anybody in the project and talk about your interest in it. And presumably, I know what would happen on our site, they would invite you to a meeting and you get to know people, you generate ideas, and it goes from there. Spend time with some of the, their senior colleagues who have, in some cases, decades of experience. And so it's mining both the actual data, but the, the people who have a lot of insight into these systems. The sort of more you engage with the topic, the more you can grow and understand it and, and build that vocabulary to then sort of develop your own research interests. Definitely um, the REU experience has impacted my career and pro like professional life. Being able to learn a lot of technical skills that I wanted to learn um, now, I know what I really want to do uh, for grad school gave me a lot of direction where do I want to go and it was it is a lot different than I initially thought of.
High school students, they take a bunch of advanced placement classes. They oftentimes have research experience. They get to college, they're different than I was when I got to college. Um, we, we traveled by covered wagon. A memorable event, event would be the time that one of my students dropped the pH meter and the electrode in the lake. And she came back to the lab and she was in tears. She was very upset. I bought a fishing pole and we went back out to the lake and we, we, we dredged for it. And it took about an hour and a half, but we got it back. And it still worked.